Well, it started off as a heart-wrenching question. A 21-year-old with autism asked his mom, would somebody like me? On your side's Kaylee Tracy visited their home in Neptune Beach today and explains how social media is helping show him people don't just like him, they love him. 72,000, over 72,000 likes. Carrie Block says she had no idea when she tweeted a question her son asked her, that tweet would go viral. I thought it would be slowing down by now, but it's like it's not. Her son David has autism and Block says she was shocked when he asked her a question for the first time. We've never had a conversation. So when he asked her, would somebody like me, she says she didn't know how to answer and turned to Twitter, and Twitter responded. I had my phone with me, and it just it kept going ping, 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 and I didn't understand what it was. And I had to ask my husband, what do all these notifications mean? Thousands from around the world replied and are still replying. Tell David he has a friend from London, one reads. My family and I live in Amsterdam, and even though we are far away, I have a very good feeling, David, that we would all like you a lot, especially our cat, reads another. Even a message from players on his favorite team. Hey, David, it's Lynn with the Jacksonville Jaguars, and we like you and we love you. I read every tweet to him. I read every message, and he, he'll make a comment like, nice. Or he'll smile when he sees a funny picture of a dog or a cat somebody sends, and he'll be like, nice, or smile, or... So I know he's taking it all in. Notes overwhelming his parents and David. He was sleeping when we visited Monday. Parents hoping their message, one tweet, will inspire others. I want people to know, if you know somebody that, with a child that's severely autistic, you know, go, go visit them, go offer to give them some respite, go help them. I mean, let them know they're not alone. That was Kaylee Tracy. Isn't that nice just to yeah. see the positive power of social media there? David, you heard a little bit of it, but he got a message from his favorite team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. You're going to hear more about that tonight on First Coast News at 6.